This is our first lesson on troubleshooting. So we're going to take a second to introduce you to how these all show up. And then we're going to proceed with this particular lesson on tracking down um, the DC switch being off. The first thing that you want to do is follow the question which says, which operating conditions is indicated by the inverter lights? And if we look over at the inverter display, we'll either see a display in the blue with some information or one of the LED lights on the inverter indicating something. In this case, it says PAC, power AC output is zero, and we have a blinking green power production light. So if we go back to our question, let's bring down the choices that we have. And we can see that the choices are, and they're always going to be like this, no lights, that's going to indicate an AC side fault, no power from the utility, a green light blinking, with power AC equals zero. That indicates no DC input from the array. A green steady light with power AC greater than zero. That indicates the system is producing power. And then a red light indicating an electrical fault, like a ground fault. In this case, our case is the green light is blinking and the power AC is zero. So that indicates no DC input from the solar array. So we're going to click on that as our choice. So now we begin the troubleshooting steps and this is what's always going to happen in troubleshooting. We're going to be walked through a sequence of troubleshooting steps. In this case, we're asked first, is the DC safety switch off? The black round dial horizontal. And if we take a look, we notice, whoop, <laughs> okay, indeed, the switch is off. Well, this is going to be pretty quick. That's not right. <laughs> to be operating, it's supposed to be on. The switch is supposed to be vertical, but it's horizontal. So we're going to say, yes, the switch is off. OK, there, fault found. The DC disconnect switch is off. And it tells us what to do. Fault found. Turn the DC disconnect switch to the on position. And so we're going to click on it to turn it on. And that would be the way that we would solve this particular fault. So that was pretty simple, but it's a good way to get us started with troubleshooting. Hey, thanks for watching the training video using Interplay's simulation-based training program. You can keep watching our solar videos by clicking on the link to your left or stay up to date on our latest solar snacks by subscribing on your right. To learn more about how the STP provides critical team training and helps you build an onboarding program at your company, please go to interplaylearning.com.